All right, let's go ahead and get this banner that I made onto the home page of this website. So we have on the home page of this site that's about to open up a rotating banner. And uh, this site was made in WordPress, so we are just going to log into WordPress and update this banner and or add it to the collection of rotating banners. So uh, here's our dashboard. Let's log into WordPress and then we'll scroll down to the revolution slider. So typically in most instances if you're updating a page you're gonna want to go to pages, find the page and update it that way. But um, we're working directly through a plugin for the slider so that's where we want to go first. So I'll click on our handy dandy uh, revolution slider, and that's opened up. And then here it is right here, the home page, because this is where this slider is, um, is set up for. You can make multiple sliders, put them on multiple pages. Um, but uh, for now, we're just going to be working with this one. So I'll click Edit Slides. And here's all the slides that we have on the home page. As you can see, I have a banner for the new year um, that will be linked to a blog post. This one is just linked to the contact page. This goes to testimonials. This is just an image, no links. This will go directly to the Constant Pursuit Challenge. And then this is just another image. So we kind of just rotate things back and forth. If at any point one of these needs to come off the rotation, I'll just um, click this check mark and it will kind of stop it and it, it won't reappear. So there it is with the red mark. So it's not going to reappear until you click it again. Um, you can delete the entire thing if you know for sure you're never going to use it, but if it may come back to it, you just want to keep it, um, keep keep the uh, the slider fresh. Then just go ahead and click that. But for now, I'll put it on there, and I'm going to show you how to create a new slide. So instead of creating actually a new slide and setting up all the the new settings, just go ahead and take one of the banners that you know is similar and hit duplicate. Give it a second to load and you should see it pop in just below. There we go. So new year, new look. I just duplicated it. Now let's go ahead and change the image. So I'm going to hit click to change. So I'll click on the image itself. Brings up the media library and now I'm ready to upload our banner. So let's actually forgot to save this out so this is a perfect example. So here's our PSD file. I'm going to go ahead and save this for the web. Got all the settings I need. Hit save. I'll even go as far as putting it in the right folder. Okay. Rename it to first class free okay it's done I'm gonna close my PSD and here it is and yep it's like the size should be it's 995 pixels wide by 423 pixels tall and I knew that because I, I pre-designed that banner. So just open up the banner templates after you have made your first one. And you'll never have to really worry about the size until the, uh, the website changes. So drag and drop that into the media library. Let it load. Um, in the meantime, you can put your alt text. Actually, you got to wait for that. I thought you could do it.
smaller you create these files to, the faster they're going to load. But um, okay, went through, and it looks like it might have resaved it or compressed it a little further. I don't, I don't know. I wonder if this actually has a feature for that. But um, anyways, title. Just go ahead and remove your hyphens. They're not completely necessary. Copy it, paste it. If you want, put a description. Not entirely essential, but could be could be helpful for SEO. Hit insert. And it should update. Just kind of give it a second. There it goes. Alright, good. Now we just need to edit the details of this slide. So let's go to this green button here, edit slide. Okay, first thing, just change the title. Go ahead and paste that in. First class free. Uh, it's published. Keep all these settings. You don't need to mess with any of this. The only thing you need to go down and change is the link. So if you have a page, which we do, so let's go to the page, let's find it. Perfect, very simple. So it's just crossfitsofa.com slash first class free. This is the actual page where the content lives. And copy my link and I can paste it in here. And that's good. So all I need to do is the title, the link, if it has one, if it doesn't have one, fine. And then change the order like if if I want this to to be at as the very first thing you see then then you can do that um, once you're all set go scroll to the bottom hit update slide and let's check it out so let's go back to the home page Boom, there it is. Right there. <laughs> All right, so we're not going to use it, but uh, you get the point. It's how you update your homepage slider. Um, should be good. Let me show you how to delete it if you need to delete it. So let's click back on Revolution Slider. Edit slides. And I don't need it, so I'm going to hit delete. That looks good. And if I refresh my page, it should go away. The first one should be just a new new look, new brand, or new year. Great, all done.